YouTube. So this is my second attempt at filming a video in my car this week. This is now coming to be something of a habit. So there's a really annoying reflection on my phone screen when I'm filming. Um, yeah, essentially life has got really busy and really hectic and mental health has not been as great as it might have been. So time to make videos hasn't gone according to plan. I had hoped to have a significantly larger amount of uh, videos up in the month of January but life being what it is it kind of hasn't happened so I'm afraid you're kind of stuck with car diaries at the moment um so for those of you that do watch them and I are still here thank you so so much for sticking with me I really appreciate you still being here I hope that you like the car diaries um <laughs> it's just one of those things is trying to grab five minutes in the day to actually film something that's worth listening to um I don't want them to become boring so I do still have lots of plans. Um, the 10 essential vegan slimming world items video is still in the making. I'm still planning to do that. I just haven't had five minutes literally to sit down and make it. So that will be coming. Also another floss tube instalment. Also hopefully a yarn version of floss tube. So crochet, knitting, loom knitting, that kind of thing orientated. Um, and maybe if we're really lucky either some recipe videos or what I eat in a day videos and um, particularly as a vegan on Slimming World I thought that might be useful for people if there's anything you would particularly like me to do please let me know in the comments below I'm more than happy to take requests if people want to see certain things or like certain videos better than others please let me know it would be really helpful but one of the reasons I wanted to come on here today is because I have a new craft to show you all it's very exciting um, and essentially this doesn't fit into floss tube or yarn related stuff really it kind of does but not really so I did a, a craft workshop uh, a couple of weeks ago and came across or was introduced to should I say this little device now my this this is like silken thread so they are obviously wrapped around this disc this craft is called kumihimo it is Japanese. I'm not sure what that translates to. Sorry, my Japanese, although I speak Japanese, is not that good. Um, but it's basically woven threads. So if I can show you, this is the problem with having to hold the camera with one hand because it will not stay still anywhere in my car. This is what the threads look like. Thank you, camera, for focusing. So it's basically just woven in a particular pattern using the disc at the top, which I just showed you. So using this here disc. You can kind of see I've got threads attached to various points on the disc and you rotate it depending. There's also a weight here on the end that's just to try and keep this as straight as possible and to keep your tension regular, I guess, or the same throughout. So you can make these into things like necklaces, bracelets, um, not quite sure what else you can make with them, but lots of necklaces and bracelets. It's not going to focus because it's focusing on me. There we are. But I think they're really pretty. You can make these with these like silky kind of embroidery threads that I'm using at the moment. And you can also use t-shirt yarn. I have used t-shirt yarn previous to this one. My first ever attempt at this was in t-shirt yarn. And it came out really well. I was really pleased with it. So I'm currently awaiting an order of that. It's not easy to get in this country. It tends to have to come from China or Japan. But you can get it on eBay. And you can also find it in tiger shops. I don't know where else there are tiger shops, but we have one in Cardiff and I know there's one in Pool as well. Um, they sell it in just plain colours, but you can get patterned stuff on the internet. Not that I've been looking. So that's my new kind of like funky craft. I would show you this in more detail, but with only one hand, it's a bit difficult to demonstrate. So sorry, but I just wanted to kind of share that with you. I love this because you can literally do it anywhere. You know, you don't have to take knitting needles or sewing needles or crochet hooks or anything that customs might not like if you're going on an aeroplane. You can take this on an aeroplane, no problem at all, and sit and do it dead easy because there's nothing sharp that you need, apart from possibly a pair of scissors at the end. But, um, you know, to actually make the braids themselves, you don't need anything that you couldn't get through customs or that they might not like you taking on a plane. So really handy craft you can just wrap it up and put it in a bag doesn't take a lot of room really easy to carry around we like this one um so that's my new craft for for today i just wanted to share that with you and just to let you know that i am still here i am still intending to make content and i hope that the card diaries are enjoyable um it's just my way of saying that i'm still here and i am planning on on doing other things but uh finding the time 
along with work and mental health dramas is not exactly uh, going according to plan so I'm hoping that things will improve but like I say if you're new thank you for subscribing there's lots to come I'm just not the most consistent uploader um that's something that's just that's just me that's the nature of me having bipolar disorder I'm not consistent with anything um because I'm different day to day it depends how I feel as to what I can do so I hope you understand and thank you for sticking with me if you've been with me since the beginning I massively appreciate it obviously this channel has changed a lot um since I started it was originally very much a vegan budget normal vegan person kind of channel for trying to make vegan food accessible for everyone irrespective of budget background what walk of life you come from because I truly believe that veganism is for everybody if they want to um that's not to say that they have to because veganism from my perspective is a personal journey and it's about personal choice and we're very privileged in in the UK to be able to make that choice not everybody has that privilege so just a that's my little rant <laughs> um but yeah I'm not someone who's ever going to ram veganism down anybody's throat because it's totally up to the individual that's just my ethos on it so but I would like to make it accessible a lot of people think you have to be quite well off to be vegan you really really don't you can literally have 20 pounds to your name for your shopping for a week and you can still eat vegan you can probably do it on 15 I've never done that I don't think maybe when I was single and not living with anybody I might have done it on 15 certainly since I've moved in with my partner I've done it on 20 for a week so that's for two people so it's not too bad <laughs> um admittedly that's a lot of soups and pastas and things but you can do it um you don't have to buy fancy schmancy ingredients that you're going to use once and then leave on the shelf for like six months until you use them again no we're not about that on this channel um so obviously that's where I started it's grown from there obviously my focus recently has been much more on vegan crafting because that's something that I'm massively into um but I do want to try and bring the food stuff back a little bit as well so little ideas of where I'm going in 2019 still focusing on veganism still focusing on craft and self um self-care self-improvement all that jazzy stuff um and yeah hopefully it's good things to come and it's actually a really nice day here in Cardiff today, despite the fact that it was minus four degrees when I left the house this morning. Freezing. Freezing. But we're supposed to have had um, that white stuff and it hasn't materialised. So I'm hoping it stays away because I work in the community and snow and hilly areas in Wales. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> I'd rather avoid that. So we'll see what happens. And also I'm going to Birmingham at the weekend. So I really hope it doesn't snow. Um, I've got a nasty feeling they've had snow up there. But we'll see. We will see. So yeah, that's the other thing I was going to mention. I am hoping, now every time I say I'm going to film when I go away somewhere, it never happens. So I'm going to see a gig on Saturday night. I actually went to a gig on Monday night as well. It's the same bands, twice. We went to see the Envy Nation and Empathy Test on Monday and they were absolutely amazing. Not that this surprises me in the least because I've seen them before. Um, they were so good we're going again on Saturday because, well, we just couldn't resist. Um, <laughs> so... That kind of speaks for itself. It was it was truly epic seeing both bands on on Monday night. I really thoroughly enjoyed that. It's been a rough couple of weeks and I really needed that. So we're going again on Saturday, going to Birmingham. I've never been to Birmingham. Um, going on an adventure with my other half. So the plan is to try and do some filming whilst I'm up there. It might just be filming of Brighton Town Centre. Uh, Brighton. Not Brighton. Birmingham. Places that begin with B. I get them confused. Um, yeah, it might just be bits of us around Birmingham it might be bits of the gig you never know I might be able to sneak a few videos in there I didn't take any photos or videos on Monday night so that needs to be rectified um I'm normally there with the camera being annoying but <laughs> I didn't I was so engrossed um so yeah I will try and do some filming over the weekend but I'm not making any promises because at the moment yeah we will see we will see but you never know I might have a surprise for you on Monday morning but I just want to say thank you so much for being here thank you for watching me ramble and and sticking with me through this kind of bumpy period i do really appreciate you guys i'm glad that you like the channel and hopefully i will speak to you again soon take care and have a great weekend everybody bye